From the start screen, type Restore Point. In the right-hand column beneath the search field, click on Settings. One of the search results to the left should be Create a Restore Point. Go ahead and click on it. This window is where you can create and restore to previous restore points. In order for this to work, system protection has to be turned on, as you can see here. This is on by default, so unless you manually came in and turned it off, you should be good to go. Click on the System Restore button, which will launch the System Restore window. Click Next, and you'll see a list of the restore points Windows has created automatically, as well as the ones you may have created yourself. It's important to note that restoring won't delete any of your files, but any recently installed programs or drivers could be uninstalled. Select the point that you want to restore back to, and then click Next. It'll ask you to confirm that this is the point that you want to restore to. It tells you the date and time it's restoring to, the name of the restore point, and the drives that are going to be affected. When you're ready, click Finish. A window will come up letting you know that once the process is started, it can't be interrupted. To begin the restore, click Yes. It'll take a few minutes to run through the restore process. Once it's done, it'll restart your computer. The computer will come back up like normal. And if you go to the desktop, you should see a message stating whether or not the restore was successful. If you have any questions, please visit our website at support.acer.com.